y'all we are here at the green and gold game for UAB UAB football is back UAB has been free they can't officially get on the field until 2017 but tonight they're having their green and gold game and this is the big pep rally before the players take the field in about 30 minutes a lot of excited people here you know it's a lot of controversy when the program was shut down uh, but a lot of people probably saying that the program is better off now it's being relaunched they just uh, had a groundbreaking for their uh, new sports uh, facility that they're going to be having uh, their operations center that they're calling it so but I'm going to let you guys get back to the action we wait for another break and I continue to sweat because this is a little hot out here as I said UAB football is finally back um, they can't start their season until next year but they're back on the field for a game that doesn't count green versus gold nice scrimmage for each other and I can see them across the street they're on their way over everybody's anticipating them a huge crowd here at this game this is a pretty amazing experience uh, looking at where we were just two years ago um, June 1st last year, that was when the president announced that they were going to reinstate hey. the program. The football players are on their, way, on their way over across the street right now. They're crossing University Boulevard. And I will bring that to you right here.
That was pretty awesome, wasn't it? All right, the players are here. They're about to start the little pregame warm-ups. Let me just show you this crowd, man. This, the, the stands are full. We even got a drone footage going on. Here's the guys. They're getting ready. They're getting ready. Here we go. Here we go. Football season's back, y'all. All right, I know a couple of people are wondering, you know, thinking this is for next year. It's still next year. Kickoff is for 2017. This is simply the green and gold game. Just, I think it's a tribute to give back to the fans that have fought so hard for this team to get back on the field. Uh, this is like a huge day for UAB football. Just earlier today, they broke ground on a new football operations center uh, that is supposed to be finished by time kickoff comes next year. Um, we talked to Bill Clark a little bit earlier today. He was super emotional. Um, kept getting uh, choked up as he talked about all the efforts it took to get uh, UAB football to this point right now. So today is simply a scrimmage game, an opportunity for fans to come out. School starting back up. College football starting this weekend. So what more could they give the UAB fans uh, than to do this nice scrimmage at the field? With a, uh, They had a Blazer Fan Fest just across the field from here. So um, good times at UAB. Good time to be a Blazer. I'm going to show you guys some more of the crowd here and the fans. There you go, you see they're all filled up. People are still filing in right now after the little pep rally for the team. See the guys are still warming up right now. We got some nice Under Armour footballs that they're going to be using today. And just to be clear, we're here on the uh, UAB soccer.
All right, y'all, give me another update. The stands are quickly filling up. I saw someone comment about the cheerleaders. I'm not sure where they are. They will be here soon. I will show you them. They're awesome. They helped me with my live shot. They did a little cheer for us on CBS 42 News. It was pretty great. Very nice young ladies. You got a lot of UAB alums out here as well. Let me just show you guys along the fence. Good stuff going on for UAB. All right, y'all, they're warming up right now. We still got about 20 minutes of the game. I'll try to bring you guys a Facebook Live as the game is happening, and hopefully we get to speak with some of the cheerleaders. Well, I see some people were asking about that. Um, so we'll bring it back to you in about 25 minutes. See ya.